Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Today we're working on the KitchenAid top load washer. Customer's complaint is that the timer dial will not move. We've determined that the motor on the timer is bad. So now we're gonna go ahead and replace the timer. The tools you will need for this repair are a number two Phillips driver and a 5 16 driver. To begin this repair, we will first make sure that the timer is pressed in. That way we can unscrew the knob. Set that aside. And then we're gonna use two hands and apply equal pressure on both sides of the dial to pull it straight off. Next, we'll remove the two number two Phillips screws that lock the console down. And then we'll pull forward and up on the console, rotate it around. And this is the component we're removing, the timer. We'll need to support it with one hand while we undo the two 5 16 screws on the front that lock it in place. Undo the other. Roll the console back. And now the timer is out fully exposed and we will disconnect the Molex plug on the timer and your timer is removed. Now that we have a new timer, let's go ahead and install that. We're gonna start by plugging in our Molex plug into the timer. You'll hear it click when it's in place. Then we're going to put the shaft of the timer through the hole in the console and bring the console back down and line up our screw holes with the holes in the front of the console. We'll take our first screw, it's a machine thread, so we're gonna get it in nice and tight and we're gonna unscrew to find our threads and then screw it in. And we'll repeat that process with the other screw. Now we're going to lay our console back down so that these hooks go into these holes on each side, down and back, and then we'll reinstall our two number two Phillips screws, one on the right, and one on the left. Now our timer dial has a flat or a D shape. So you look at the timer and here is your flat or your D shape and it's over to this mark here. So you take your dial and slide it over there we go, and press it all the way in. And then we'll take our knob and we'll start by unscrewing to find the thread. And then you turn the timer dial until the entire timer starts to rotate and your timer is installed. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. 